Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra and today I'm bringing to you look three and the final look with the Alter Ego Aurora palette. All of these are pre-recorded because I'm moving. <laughs> So if you missed the other videos, I will have them linked down in the description box or if you're unfamiliar with where I am and why I'm uploading this type of content, I will link my good news and channel updates video as well. So we've done a couple of really warm looks with this palette and so today I kind of want to dip into the pinks and the purple for sure and go that route. For me, I don't own a lot of pink and purple in my wardrobe so I just feel like navy kind of goes with those tones depending. And I also went with a peachy blush. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the shade Star right here. Going to attempt to get through this video without the fan on, but no promises. <laughs> you can tell by my frogginess, I am very much suffering with allergies right now. I bet lots of you are too. It's just that time of year. All right, so I have that laid down in my crease. I also wanna do a nice light wash of this on the lid, so I'm gonna do that as well. It will be an interesting look to be sure. I'm not exactly 100% what I'm doing yet, but I kinda know what colors I wanna use, so. One last little build up in the crease here. And hallelujah, my daughter is doing school in the other room. <laughs> I love her, but it's been a long <clears throat> few months of being stuck in a small condo with, you know, typically three people, four when my husband's home, two cats, two dragons, and a betta fish, and a partridge in a pear tree. So it's good for her and I to have our space for me too. As with anybody, I'm having like kind of a moment <laughs> this morning. I It really, really hit me strong when I took back to school pictures of my kids outside as we do every year, even though they're not physically going to school. <laughs> it's just the one of the ways I like to document their growth and all of that. So. We were taking back to school pictures before my son actually left for work, not school, <laughs> and it really hit me. I have a senior in high school. <laughs> it blows my mind. I cannot fathom it. I don't feel old enough to have a senior in high school. To be fair, he started school young. So he's still just 17. He just turned 17 in August. So, I mean, <clears throat> he won't be legal, so to speak, by the time he graduates or whatever, but man, it blows my mind. All right, so I'm next gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Nova. It's a really beautiful color. We used just a tinge of it in the second look, but today I'm going to really define the outer part of the eye with this color. And I think it's gonna be a beautiful base or shade to pair with the purple. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm just using like a little angled brush here and gradually, very gradually building this up. All right, now using the same brush, just a little tiny bit of this shade right here, which is called Twilight, just to ever so slightly deepen up that outer corner right on the lid and upper lash line. Just a bit, like so. Use a flat defining brush, kind of like an eyeliner brush, and bring that shade down to the lower lash line, just about halfway. And then I think we'll go back in with that Samini shade star that we started out with, and 
blend this out a little bit. This is the first time I'm using this shade, but it is really pretty and I think it would also go beautifully with <clears throat> like the warmer oranges and yellows in here. And I think that's really cool that they did include that because I think it goes with both. Like it goes with this pinky purple look, but I think it also will go with the warm tones as well. All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of a dense brush here and go back into the shade Star and just kind of work on blending out this pink and sort of establish bleh, establishing further that salmon color in the crease. Since this one ha is a little bit more dense, it lays down more color and that's perfect. And then I'm gonna take the same shade, I don't know why I'm showing it to you again, on a pencil brush and use that to blend out the lower lash line. I'm kind of starting this off on the inner part of the eye and then work my way out so I don't drag the dark shade that we used on the outer part in too far. Time for some shimmers. I don't really need this shade, but I wanna try it. It's this shade right here called Cosmic. I just wanna put this on the little outer bit. Pretty specific, right? On like the outer third or so. I don't want to completely cover up the mattes there, but kind of maybe marry the mattes with the purple shade we're going to use by putting this metallic there. Super pretty. I just wanted to try as many shades as I could because I will have a mini review for you at the end of this video. All right, wiping it off that same brush, I'm gonna go into this beautiful purple duochrome called Dawn. Definitely one of the shades in the original Natasha Denona palette that intrigued me the most. So I'm excited to see how she do. Oh, I feel fallout. This might be one that's best applied with a finger. Let's try it. Some of the metallics are like really super duper smooth, like the cosmic shade that we just applied. And some of them are a little bit more loose and like glittery, like this purple. So these are either applied better with a wet brush or with your phalange. So a little more sheer than I was hoping it would be, but not a deal breaker. It is a really smooth shadow, however. You don't always see that with shades like this that are a little bit more of a sheer topper. They can tend to be a little chunky, but this one lays down beautifully. I'm just kind of blending that almost completely over Cosmic, just because I like a lighter lid look. Now that we have that laid down officially, I'm gonna try it with a wet brush just so we can have that information. Just picking it up, I'm gonna spray it. This is the Mario Badescu facial spray. And here we go. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. And unlike some, shadows it doesn't pick up any of the shadow that we laid down underneath which is great because sometimes it can tend to do that and you know we don't want that and that's pretty much it i do want an inner corner highlight hmm do i yeah i do I think I want the shade Brilliance. This is the brightest shade in the palette. And I'm really just going to put it right here. I don't want to bring it around the tear duct or anything like that today. I just want to highlight this inner cavern here. This is a cavern, you know? 
All right, beautiful. <laughs> it's been a while since I did it look this colorful, but I've really enjoyed it. I'm gonna pop off of here, do some mascara and a lip, and maybe I'll do the lip with you. I don't know, I'll be back. All right, we are back. Here's the completed look. Little wardrobe change. I thought that this would be fun with this salmon and blue, and I like it. So I finished off the eyes with a nude eyeliner for the waterline, and then I used the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is getting better. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Then I lined my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. Uh, it is very natural. It's almost non-existent. <laughs> and then I topped it off with this MAC lipstick in collaboration with Patrick Star. It's called the Sweet Mama Star Amplified Creme Lipstick. And then last but not least, topped that off with just a little bit of this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Pearl. I really like how this eye look came out. It's fun, it's bright, and you know, ode to summer. So let's talk briefly about the palette before we end the video. Um, I think the only shades I really didn't use were Ray, Sunburst, and Soul, if I remember correctly. I think I used all the rest of the shades. So this, uh, wait, yeah, these two yellows here and then this red shade right here, which if you've been around here for a while, you might know that I don't care for red eyeshadow, but I really like this palette. There's definitely a few different formulas in here. You've got your matte shadows. It's very straightforward and very consistent with the formula I've come to expect from the brand in terms of matte eyeshadow. And then you have a couple of different formulas. In terms of the duochromes, I think it's the duochromes. So this one, this one, and this one that are a little bit looser and I definitely got some fallout from the purple at least on this side so um, just something to be aware of but it performed beautifully once I wet my brush so there's that and then the rest is more of like your straightforward metallic formula like this shade cosmic that I applied on the outer part of the lid today but overall I really enjoyed playing with this palette. Knowing what I know now, I am glad that I picked the Alter Ego version versus the Natasha Denona palette for $65 because I love this color story, but it's not a color story I wear all the time and it's it may go out of trend or out of fashion here on YouTube or in my own mind. <laughs> So I am glad that I picked this up. You never know, sometimes when you play with dupe palettes, it makes you glad that you didn't purchase the full priced palette, or other times it makes you want the full price palette any even more, which was the case with last week's palette, the Sahara palette from Alter Ego. So all of like across the board I really think this is a fantastic brand and a fantastic eyeshadow formula I think if there's a color story that speaks to you or that you think you would get a lot of use out of this is really a fantastic way to go and that's all I have for you today I hope you have enjoyed these two weeks of just you know light short and sweet allegedly um, content while I've been moving and unpacking and setting up the beauty room and I hope you're staying safe and well thank you so much for watching this video today if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out here on the platform. I also forgot to say at the beginning, if you're new here, very special welcome to you. I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave. If you like what you see today, it's free, it's easy, and it helps you find my videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I upload and allegedly if you ring that notification bell to all YouTube will let you know when that happens and I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days how about that an intro and an outro <laughs> I will see you in my next video real soon in my new space hopefully
We'll be right back.